Cheeksters! Hi YouTube! Hope your day is going well. Like the title says, today's video is going to be all about the must-haves for 2022. So what I did was I went ahead and rounded up my tried and true favorites from 2021. Honestly, these are items that you didn't know you needed, okay? And they kind of reminds me of old school monthly favorites video. Don't worry, I'm not about that life. But these items have come in clutch and came through for me all of 2021. So I felt like it was a decision service not to share it with you. If you're new here, my name is Chi Chi and we cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle on this channel. So if that's the kind of stuff you're into, then sis, you found your tribe, get comfortable. Let's get into this video. <laughs> in hand y'all because I don't want to forget anything okay I went ahead took my time and really just looked through some of the things I was loving last year so if you're wondering this top I have on is actually from Amazon don't worry I have an Amazon finds video coming if it's already live I will link it for you in the description box down below which leads me to the next point that this video is mainly fashion but if you're interested in like a comprehensive video with fashion and lifestyle finds then make sure to check out that video because when I say I found some good stuff last year, I sure did. Okay. So the first item I want to share with you guys is our two-piece sets. Oh my God. I think I talked about this in another video, but two-piece sets are literally the hack, okay, for getting dressed. If you're someone who struggles with putting together outfits, girl, just fill your wardrobe with two-piece sets and you'll be good, okay? <laughs> you'll be good. I just love, I'm a huge proponent on if you can't wear something three ways, don't buy it. I'm a huge proponent on maximizing your wardrobe. And so I fell in love with two-piece sets. I'm also someone who's been working really hard to invest in all parts of my wardrobe, especially the parts that I wear every day. I feel like, I don't know if it's just me, but I generally feel like in our community, we tend to spend or focus more on like unicorn pieces, what I like to call them, or like going out pieces. Like a girl will spend $200 on a sequin dress that you probably only wear two times in the year versus actually spending $75, $100, $125 on a two-piece set that you can wear on an everyday basis or you can split up and you know wear with other things in your wardrobe so I have been making a conscious effort because I want to look good every single day I want to look good on weekends I want to look good at the grocery store I'm actually gonna make a video about how to be that girl that always looks good okay because I used to be the girl from this meme all right trust me <laughs> I used to be her and I don't want to be her in 2022 one of the things I invested in 2021 was in these two-piece sets that I could wear on an everyday basis. But I also grabbed some you know, some more dressy options as well. Like this two piece set from Pretty Little Thing. We like her, okay. <laughs> but also, I also grabbed, you know, this sweater set as well. I actually got grabbed, I actually have like three versions, maybe four versions of this sweater set. I also love myself a good track, a jogger set. Like these are the things that you can wear every single day that will really help you to be that girl. Be in the grocery store, you know, looking fabulous. Okay? Okay, really help you to hack looking good all of the time. I made a video on like, you know, I think it was something like simple tricks and tips that you can do to look good every day. I talked about wigs, I talked about press on nails, etc. etc. I will link that video for you up here. But looking good it does not have to be that difficult in this day and age, like, or making an effort to look put together and pulled together. If you're a newsletter subscriber, I said that I want this year to be your most stylish year yet. Why? because I got so many DMs from girls saying that you know their bodies had changed and they didn't know how to dress themselves they were struggling with their bodies and how they saw themselves and honestly I will make a video about this but mindset really plays a role all right I digress anyways get yourself some two-piece sets I'm gonna link a bunch of options so another must-have that you need okay in 2022 are a great pair of long line shorts I don't know about you but I am excited I am happy that longer shorts are back in style. Fingers crossed that they're still in style for summer of 2022 because even if they're not, 
your girl will be rocking them. As a girl who, you know, got some hips, some butt, and some thighs, long line shorts are the goat, especially if you do not want, you know, your thighs eating them up, okay? Because I'm little cute Daisy Dukes, they just get lost in between, all right? I don't want to be too explicit, but you know what I mean. Last year, I was on a mission to sample different types of shorts to find the perfect pair. Now, I came across this pair from Target, and I feel like it is the perfect pair. It is not too long or it's seeming kind of like your mom's shorts and it is not too short that it's seeming kind of like a 16 year old short. Now if you're a 16 year old, more power to you. Rock them Daisy Dukes B if that's what you're feeling. But <laughs> for me in my mature, no I'm joking. For me in my age, my grown age, okay, I really love the length of these shorts because they're long enough so I feel like I can wear them in a more dressy way but they're also short enough that I feel like I can wear them in a more casual way and I I just feel comfortable in them. So if they brought them back this year, I will be sure to link them for you down below and some options down below. I love the wash on these. I love the cut on these. They're a little bit of more of a tomboy sort of like cut. I did have to size up and that's one of my tips for my girls with, you know, hips and butt is to size up. I did have to size up, okay, to have the perfect sort of like, you know, tomboy-ish look and I had to cinch the waist. But once you find out, I did a whole I believe I did a whole reel on how to find the perfect shorts for you if you're going on a warm weather vacation or you know you're just playing ahead for the summer these are a must-have and let me just tell you right now they sell out so quick because by like July end of they were not available so these are the kind of things that I always recommend you shop for at the beginning of the season it's worth paying full price for at least a pair and then you know saving it in your cart and then getting a couple of pairs later when they go on sale continuing on with jewelry another must-have for 2022 is going to be an initial necklace I wore mine to freaking the bone and when I say that this necklace was like 40 or 35 dollars in the Nordstrom sale I have been wearing it back to back and it has not faded it has not tarnished now I will say that I do not wear it in the shower so I feel like if I did it would probably cut the longevity but for the price I mean I know jewelry brand selling necklaces is like this for double triple now it's no longer on sale but on Nordstrom but I will look to see if any other site has the Braha necklace and I like the fact that it is like a nice size pendant so that it's visible okay and it kind of makes an impact without making an impact it's also a nice length so if you want to layer it with other things you can now I actually almost <laughs> I want to be dramatic but I actually almost caused like an issue in my house because I don't know what was going on with me I sat on my couch and at the end of the day I like to take off all of my jewelry and I, I always put it in this like little tray by my couch and then I had the extension cord like kind of close to the tray I don't know but when I went up to pick it up it kind of fell into like one of the holes in the extension cord like one of the outlet holes and like it sparked okay and I think it blew the fuse <laughs> and so a chunk of the necklace actually like disappeared I don't even know what happened to it but I was able to get an extender and continue using the necklace. That's how much I stand for this necklace. So of course, if you're looking for dainty everyday jewelry, and I always say that it's great to invest in gold jewelry. If you do not have, you know, the funds for real gold, then this is a great option because it really helps to elevate your outfit. So the next favorite is going to be my watch. I got this watch this time last year, and honestly, I didn't wear it for a while. And however, I felt like if you were looking for a classic everyday watch that you can wear all of the time, then a two-toned watch is your best bet. So I'm weird about mixing metals and I love the fact that this watch actually allows me to do that because I feel like because I have the watch, because it's two-toned, I can wear my silvers and my golds. Don't... <laughs> I know I cannot be the only one. Let me know in the comments down below. It's just a thing for me. I don't know why. I can't tell you why, but I am just weird about it like that. I love the fact that I can mix and match my metals without feeling some type of way. It literally have worn it almost, I would say 75%, if not longer of the year. And it still looks brand new in great condition. And the main reason why I got it is if you have a Rolex on your vision board like I do, this is giving me Rolex vibes, but for a Ferrari 
fraction, when I say fraction, fraction of the cost. Now I got the men's version. I'm a big girl. I'm like five, seven, five, eight. And I like for my accessories to kind of be in proportion to my body. But if you want something a little bit more dainty, I will be sure to link like the girls version. So the next item that I loved in 2021, and I think they must have in 2022 is this two-toned knit sweater dress. What I love about this dress is that you can wear this pretty much, I don't want to say year round, you can't wear this in the summer and if it's like 25 degrees outside, I wouldn't recommend this, but every other time, I recommend this. And I love the fact that it's just not your typical sweater dress. It has this two-tone action happening right here. And the best part about this style of dress is that it buttons all the way down so you could even wear it as a cardigan. I'm all about buying clothes that I can wear multiple ways and that are versatile and this dress is it. And although it's kind of like trending with the two-tone situation, I feel like the style is classic enough that even after when it's not trending, I can still rock it. So I can have this in my wardrobe for a long time. Now, it's not the cheapest. I'm gonna be honest. You know, it's not the cheapest. However, I will say though, and I know that the quality of this piece will last me from year to year. It comes in so many colors. Now, I did find y'all a dupe, okay? I did find y'all a dupe, and guess where I found the dupe? Let me know in the comments down below. So the next item I wanna share with you guys is this long line moto jacket, which I scored last winter. I feel like sometimes earlier in this year, and I didn't really get to wear it last season because I got it towards the end of winter. But y'all, when I say that I have been wearing this thing, I have been wearing it. And what I like about it is that it's a long line, it's not a crop, which is typically what you find in moto jackets. I love that it has all the hardware. So my favorite way to style it is to pair it with more girly or sexy pieces because I love that androgynous edge that it adds. I love that it has the belt trim around the bottom because I really feel like it lends to like the authenticity of the style. It is real leather so I know I'm gonna have it for years. And honestly, I highly recommend if you have the budget to always invest in leather when you can when it comes to jackets. They, it just really never goes out of style so I think it's a worthwhile investment. It just elevates your look when it's real leather versus faux. Now there are some good faux leather options and I will be sure to link some for you down below but whenever you can invest in leather and like I said I like that the style of this jacket is more of a long line so it does have a more masculine edge to it and it's not every outfit that you want to wear a crop jacket. Like I have you know a good assortment of crop moto jacket but I find myself reaching for this style just because because it's actually more practical, right? Your waist is covered, it covers parts of your hips, et cetera, et cetera. I love pairing it with like minis, and I also like pairing it with fitted items. I think that that's where the style shines the most. Now, this, of course, jacket is completely sold out. I got it from H&M, probably during some kind of sale, and I looked on the site, and they did have it this year, but it also sold out. So that lets you know how popular this style is. I found a dupe on Nasty Gal. That one is almost sold out as well. Y'all, I'm trying. But I feel like I found one more dupe somewhere else that's still in stock, so I will link it for you down below. I would say get your true size in this style just because of the cut. It's kind of like oversize-ish. So I would just recommend getting your true size if you are interested in this leather jacket. This is actually the best time, honestly, to shop for jackets and coats because the retailers are starting to get rid of them in lieu of spring stock coming in. And so right now is the best time because most of these items are on clearance or on their way to clearance and you still have a decent amount of stock but I wouldn't wait so if you are enjoying this video so far and I've put you on to some pieces that you will be adding to your collection then sis hit that like button it's also a good time to share this video because I promise you there's someone you know who needs to see this video so the next item are gonna be these mules right here. When I say I wore these mules to death, I wore these mules to death. I highly recommend shoes with this little sculptural detail where it widens at the base. It makes a hell of a difference when wearing them. But I also love these mules because they were clear, okay? They're giving us Bottega vibes with the square toe and of course the little heel detail, but not quite. And 
I just love that they match with everything. So I wore this so much during the summer because I didn't have to worry about matching my colorful pieces with this. You know, I wore it with this orange outfit. I wore it with this like kind of rust colored two piece set outfit. I wore this with another two piece set. Short like striped outfit. As you guys can see, I love my two piece sets. They're just good, okay? Um, and so I really loved these shoes. I definitely got my money's worth out of them. And if they are still available or if there's like a similar style, I will link them down below. You need a clear mule like this. I'm telling you, it comes in clutch. And I also love this one, especially because it's a wide fit. So it fit comfortable. I didn't need to worry about this like, you know, plastic clear piece pinching my toes and I love ASOS for that like I said because they really come in clutch for us a wide feeted babes if that's a word they come they come in clutch for that so I'm gonna link these but I'm also gonna link some more um wide width shoe options that I have my eye on as well. Now I'm pretty sure I mentioned this last year when it came to my favorites, but I thought I'd give it an honorary mention. My favorite pair of jeans in 2021, and a must have in my opinion, is these American Eagle Mom. And these are like the 90s fit jeans. I specifically like the 90s fit jeans because they give you that straight leg, but it's not crazy wide, if that makes any sense. Also, I just love the fact that it's like real, it feels like real denim. It does have some, you know, grit to it, but it also stretches out a little bit. So I love that it's a happy medium. I will link it for you down below. I really love these jeans. I stand by them. I would say don't get the ones that have a lot of crazy rips because I have my other favorite pair right now that's completely out of commission because the rips got a little crazy. So I would stick to like a non-rip version. And if you want a rip, you can put like a small rip in it yourself. That that way you know it doesn't get super crazy and then you can't wear it anymore. <laughs> That's the only tip I would give you. But overall, I definitely believe that they are worth completely the money you spend on them. And if you catch a sale, you can get them for like around the $30 mark, which is definitely definitely worth it. Another brand that's making a very similar pair is going to be the Abercrombie as well. I've heard such great things. I actually have two pairs that came in the mail but now if you enjoyed this video then I promise you you will love my daily outfit and style finds that I share on Instagram. If you have a last minute question okay maybe you're about to check out based on something I recommended you can always slide in my DMs there. I do my best to check it in real time. I'll also, if you decide to join the Instagram family, you can also just say hi and let me know you're from YouTube so I can probably welcome you to the family. Now, let's continue the conversation in the comments down below. I would love for you to share some of your must-haves from 2021 because I always like to get put on stuff, okay? So let me know. And before you go, <laughs> I'm sure you will enjoy this video and this video. Also, if you want more videos just like this, all you have to do is subscribe now. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and share so I know to make more videos. Until next time, stay blessed.